Shake, rattle and bang. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Today, children, we are going to learn about instruments that you shake, rattle and bang. Hooray! First, choose an instrument each from the music room. <laughs> I've got drums. They are called bongo drums, Danny. You bang them with your hands like this. <laughs> I've got a flat bongo drum. That is a boran. It is Irish. You beat it with a little stick like this. I've got a tambourine. Very good, Pedro. You can also shake it like this. Ooh. I've got a big drum. Ah, the bass drum. Meow. I don't know what this is called, but it's scrapey. That candy is called a kiro, and it comes all the way from South America. Wow. How did it get here? I brought it back from my holiday. What are these? They are maracas. I brought them back from my holiday in Spain. This is a triangle. My dad sells these in boxes of ten. Thank you, Freddy. I will remember that. You don't need to go on holiday to get them. Thank you. <coughs> what are these? These are castanets. My dad sells them in boxes of five. Thank you, Freddy. Olé! That is how you play the castanets. Here you are, Emily. Do I have to do the dance? <laughs> no, just make the clickety-clack noise. <laughs> ah, I see Rebecca has cymbals. Yes! <laughs> now you know what your instruments sound like. We can play them all together. Ready? Steady, go! That is not music. That is just noise. Anybody can bang, bang, bang. But to make music, you have to listen to each other and keep in time. Madam Gazelle, I can't listen and do music. Can you clap? Yes. If you can clap, you can make music. All the girls, please copy me. Now, boys. Madam Gazelle has made the clapping into music. And stop. <laughs> now we will learn how to play our instruments together. Meow. The parents have come to pick up the children. Ah, you're just in time. May I present the Shake, Rattle and Bang Orchestra? Hooray! Children, ready, steady, go! Bravo! Perhaps some of my old pupils would like to join in too. Find your instruments, children. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Madam Gazelle used to teach all the mummies and daddies when they were little. It's quite hard, Daddy, but you do it like this. Let me see if I've got that right. Daddy, you can play the drums. I am a bit of an expert at drumming. That's good shake, rattle and banging. Now for a tune. Shake, rattle, and bang. <laughs> the camper van. Pepper and George are very excited today. They are going on holiday. Oh, where's Daddy? He's bringing a secret surprise. What's that? It's a camper van. We've borrowed it for our holiday. Ooh. This camper van has everything. This button works the sink. Wow! 
And this button works the TV. <laughs> what does this button do? I'm not sure. Maybe don't press it until we know. Is everybody ready to go on holiday? Yes, yes Mummy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. <laughs> We're going on holiday in a camper van. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, this map is a bit tricky. Daddy, we don't want to get lost. Don't worry, Peppa. I'm an expert at map reading. Oh, that's strange. Are we lost? Uh, yes. It's Grandad Dog with Danny Dog. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Danny. We're lost. Lost? Is your sat nav broken? Sat nav? You're driving a camper van T3200. Sat nav comes as standard. Welcome to the car of the future. Ah. So that's what that button does. Where are we going today? The camper van is talking. Clever, isn't it? The computer voice helps you find your way. But how does it know where we want to go? You tell it. Uh, hello, Mrs Camper Van. Hello. We're going on holiday. Can you tell us the way? Proceed on the current road in a straight line. Thanks for your help, Grandad Dog. You're welcome. Have a lovely holiday. We're going on holiday in a camper van. <laughs> <laughs> danger, danger. Oil is low. What's oil? Oil helps engines to run smoothly. Will the oil run out? No. These warnings always give you plenty of time. Oil is gone. Oh, dear. Luckily, I've got a spare can of oil. Well done, Daddy Pig. We simply pour the oil into the engine and... Oh. What's wrong? There's nothing in here. The engine's gone. It's Mummy Sheep with Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. We've lost our engine. Lost your engine? Yes. It's completely disappeared. I'd like to help, but I don't know a thing about engines. I'm probably just being silly. This looks a bit like an engine. Ah, yes. Well spotted, Mummy Sheep. The camper van has its engine at the back. There. That should be enough oil. Thank you, Mummy Sheep. You're welcome. Have a lovely holiday. Are we nearly there yet? Just up the next hill. You have reached your destination. Hooray! Time for bed. Where will we sleep? Mummy Pig and I will sleep on this bed. Ooh! And you two will sleep upstairs. But there isn't an upstairs. Oh, oh, watch this. The camper van roof is lifting up. The camper van is just like our little house. <laughs> While we're on holiday, it is our little house. <laughs> Good night, my little piggies. Good night. Camping holiday. Peppa's family are on holiday in their camper van. <laughs> Good morning, my little piggies. Good, Good morning, morning, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. <laughs> I love camping. Since we're in the countryside, I thought we could spend the day looking at nature. Good idea, Mummy Pig. Let's watch a nature programme. One of the wonders of nature, birds. How lovely. <coughs> shush, shush, little birdie. We can't hear our TV. Oh, Daddy Pig, there's no point being on a camping holiday and just watching TV. We can do that at home. Uh. Good thinking, Mummy Pig. There are lots of fun places we can visit. <coughs> There's Tree World. What's Tree World? Tree World is a big forest full of trees. 
It sounds a bit boring. Or there's Potato City. What's Potato City? There's a tour of the potato fields ending with a potato tasting. Sounds interesting. Or there's Duckland. What's Duckland? It's a wide river full of ducks. Duckland! <coughs> Let's go to Duckland! <laughs> Peppa and George love ducks. How do we get to Duckland? The camper van can guide us. Hello. Where are we going today? Duckland, please. Follow the road ahead in a straight line. We're going, going to, to Duckland, Duckland in a camper van. Welcome to Duckland. <laughs> How many tickets, please? Two adults and two children. Enjoy the ducks! Where are the ducks? Maybe they're on holiday. Let's have our picnic lunch. <laughs> the ducks always turn up when, when we have picnics. <laughs> Peppa and George love picnics. <laughs> Look, it's the ducks. <laughs> Stop, Daddy. We need bread for the ducks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Duck. <laughs> here come more ducks. All their brothers and sisters are here. <laughs> and here come more ducks. It's the Granny and Grandpa Ducks. And here are all the aunties and uncles. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the last of our picnic gone. Ducks, say thank you to Daddy Pig. Ho, <laughs> oh, ho, oh, you're most welcome. <laughs> I love Duckland. <laughs> it is time to go home. I wonder what's the shortest way home. Drive straight ahead. Into the river. Oh, are you sure? Yes. Drive into the river. But we can't drive in the river. Yes. It's talking nonsense. Please press the blue button. The camper van is driving into the river. <laughs> <laughs> Our camper van has turned into a boat. I wasn't quite expecting that. Welcome to the car of the future. Look, it's Grandad Dog and Danny Dog. Ahoy there, Daddy Pig. <coughs> uh, ahoy there. <laughs> Sailing on the river in the camper <laughs> Drive up the next hill. You have reached your destination. We're, We're home. home. Thank you for a lovely holiday, Mrs. Campervan. Ho, ho, you're most welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice going on holiday, but it's nicer to be back in our own little house. Good night, my little piggies. Good night. Fun run. It has been very stormy weather and the school roof is leaking. How can we raise the money to fix the school roof? We could have a fun run. <laughs> What's a funny run? It's a day for picnics and giving money to see people run. And the more money you give, the further they run. Good idea, Daddy Pig. How far can you run? What? Uh, well, I can run as far as you like. But, Daddy, you can hardly run at all. Nonsense. I'm an expert at running. Good. Does anyone else want to run? No, no thank, thank you. you. But I'll give money to see Daddy Pig run. Me too. And me. Excellent. Thank you, Daddy Pig. Pepper and her family are eating spaghetti. <laughs> Delicious. Is there any more spaghetti? Daddy Pig, you've already had three helpings. Eating gives me energy. And I need energy for my fun run. You also need to practice running. What if I practice eating today, then practice running tomorrow? No, Daddy. You need to practice running now. Oh. 
Come on, Daddy. Race you. <laughs> <laughs> this is easy. It is easy to run downhill. <sighs> it is hard to run uphill. I don't think I should have eaten so much spaghetti. It is the day of the fun run. Madame Gazelle has a chart to show how far Daddy Pig must run. If Daddy Pig can run to here... The supermarket. Then to here... My granddad's garage. And all the way to here... Windy Castle. Then we'll have enough money to fix the school roof. I'll do it now. Ready, steady, go! I did it! Now we can have the picnic. <laughs> Silly Daddy. That's just a drawing. Yes. Now you must run to the real Windy Castle. Oh. Ready, steady, go. Hooray! Come on, Daddy Pig! You can make it! <laughs> The school bus has made it to Windy Castle. Now everyone can enjoy the picnic. Water! Water! What a lovely hot day! And such a relaxing way to raise money, too. Water! Water! Daddy Pig has reached the supermarket. All the running has made him very thirsty. Let's look through the telescope. I can see Daddy. The telescope makes everything look closer. Oh, he's not going very fast. Daddy Pig has arrived at Grandad Dog's garage. Oh, that's it. I can't go on. Daddy has stopped. Oh. You look rather hot. You need something to cool you down and give you energy. Have an ice lolly. Thank you, Grandad Dog. That's nice. Ah, a wasp. Shoo, shoo. Get away, you little pest. The wasp wants to share Daddy Pig's ice lolly. No, this is my lolly. Daddy started running again really fast. Hooray! Ah, get off. Get off. You can stop now, Daddy Pig. We have enough money to fix the school roof. Ah! Daddy Pig has lost the wasp. Well done, Daddy Pig. All that extra running means we've got enough money for a new school bus, too. Thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> You're most welcome. <laughs> Champion Daddy Pig. Pepper and her family are watching sport on television. It's a long jump. It's a new world record! Mummy, what's a world record? It means you're best in the world at something. Then you are a champion and your name goes in a book. There are champions for running, jumping, swimming... I wish you were in the book, Daddy. I am in the book. No! Yes, Daddy Pig is champion puddle jumper. Wow! No one has beaten me yet. I don't think they ever will. The next event is the puddle jump. That was a very big splash. In fact, I think, yes, it's a new world record. Oh. Daddy, you're not the champion anymore. Everyone will be sad. Oh, ho, ho. I'm sure they've got more important things to worry about, Pepper. Daddy Pig, you lost the world record. Everyone wants you to be champion again. It's important. Really? Yes! yes. OK, I'll do it. Tomorrow. Hooray! But I'll have to train myself to jump in muddy puddles again. Everyone knows how to jump in muddy puddles, Daddy. Ah. But not everyone is a champion, Pepper. Daddy Pig is the master. Daddy, are you going to practice jumping up and down? No, Pepper. 
I must be at one with the puddle. What? To jump in a puddle, I must think like a puddle. Do you need to do running? No. Do you need to do press-ups? No. I need to sleep and dream about puddles. It is the day of the big puddle jump. Daddy Pig is wearing his puddle jumping costume. I can't find my golden boots. I gave those old boots to Grandpa for his gardening. My lucky golden boots to be used as gardening boots? You've got other ones. It's not the same. Hello? Grandpa? Remember those old boots I gave you? Uh, yes. Daddy needs them back urgently. You have been looking after them. Um, they have been watered. Grandpa Pig is growing tomatoes in Daddy's lucky boots. We need them for the puddle jump today. Righto, I'll meet you there. Everyone has come to watch Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Hooray! Good luck, Daddy Pig! Oh, but where are your lucky boots? Uh, here they are. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. I can smell tomatoes. And now for Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Daddy Pig is thinking. Ready, steady. Go! I must become one with the puddle. I must be the puddle. Wah! The puddle has gone. <laughs> the puddle has gone over all of us. Daddy Pig has become one with the puddle. Everyone has become one with the puddle. It's a new world record! Hooray! Champion Daddy Pig! And who is this? I'm Peppa Pig! One day, I will be the champion puddle jumper. I've been training her. Ah, to be trained by the master. What have you learned? Uh, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> <laughs> Washing. <laughs> Daddy Pig is doing the washing this morning. <laughs> Daddy, what's that shirt? It's my football shirt. Daddy's playing football this afternoon. Ooh. But first, I have to go to work. See you later. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Poor Daddy. Having to go to work. Oh, poor Daddy. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Yes, let's play. <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. George loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Mummy Pig loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Oh, dear. Mummy, we splashed Daddy's football shirt with mud. Oh. Don't worry. We'll just wash it. <laughs> It'll be washed in no time and Daddy won't know it was ever muddy. <laughs> Let's find some more things to put in the machine. Oh, my dress is a bit muddy. <laughs> Mummy Pig and George have found more things to wash. Very good, George. <laughs> we put the clothes in here and then we switch it on. The washing machine is filling up with hot, soapy water. <laughs> splosh! 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 <laughs> 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 the washing machine is making the whole room shake. <laughs> oh, Pepper, where's your dress? I'm washing it. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Look, Mummy, my red dress is all nice and clean. 
Yes, Pepper, but look what it's done to everything else. Oh, dear. Pepper's red dress has made all the white clothes pink. Pink isn't a very good colour for a football shirt. Ooh. Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. Uh, Daddy Pig? We've got a bit of a problem and, um... <laughs> Tell me later, Mummy Pig. I've got to get ready for football. Now, where's my football shirt? Here. <laughs> Don't be silly, Pepper. That's one of Mummy's dresses. It's pink. No, Daddy. It's your football shirt. It got a bit muddy. So we washed it. And it all went a bit wrong. Sorry, Daddy. But I can't wear a pink football shirt. Why not, Daddy? Pink is a lovely colour. Hmm. What do you think, George? Yuck! George does not like pink. Here are Daddy Pig's friends. Mr Bull, Mr Rabbit, Mr Pony and Mr Zebra. Moo! Is Daddy Pig coming out to play? He'll just be a moment. My team are in white. I need a white shirt. But, Daddy, you have a white shirt. Just take off your jacket. See? Fantastic! Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Like your shirt. Very smart. Thank you. Come on, let's play football. Yes! <laughs> Go! Hooray! Hooray! Daddy, you've made your shirt all muddy. <laughs> of course, Pepper. Football shirts are meant to be muddy. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig loves playing football. Everyone loves playing football, especially when it's muddy. <laughs> It is bedtime. Good night, Peppa. Good night, George. Can I have a story, please? OK. I'll read you the Red Monkey book. But we always have that one. The Red Monkey has a bath, cleans his teeth and goes to sleep. Er, uh, yes. That is what happens. Can we choose another story? The blue tiger, the green spider, the orange penguin. Oh, what's this one? The Wonderful World of Concrete. I've been looking for that. Is it your book, Daddy? It's a book I borrowed from the library. What's a library? It's a place you borrow books from. And when you've finished reading them, you take them back. But Daddy Pig has forgotten to take this book back. I have had it for rather a long time. Never mind. You can take it back tomorrow. <sniffs> but now it's bedtime. After Daddy reads this story. It's not much of a story, Peppa. Please read it, Daddy. OK. <laughs> the wonderful world of concrete. Concrete is a construction material composed of sand, water and chemical admixtures. Chapter 1. Sand. Pepper, George and Mummy Pig have fallen asleep. It is morning. Pepper and her family have come to the library. <laughs> <laughs> wow! What a lot of books! Shh! Pepper, you must be quiet in the library. Why? Because people come here to read and to be quiet. Next, please! Miss Rabbit is the librarian. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you returning these books? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Right you are. Why is the computer beeping? It's checking to see that you haven't been naughty and borrowed the book for too long. Um, I may have borrowed this book for a bit too long. <laughs> Don't worry, Daddy Pig. It can't be that bad. Gosh! Daddy Pig, you've had this book out for ten years. Naughty Daddy. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's all right. Now you can borrow another book. Miss Rabbit? 
Can George and I borrow a book, please? Yes. The children's section is over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Fairies, flowers, pretty dresses. <laughs> hello, Pippa. Oh, hello, Danny. I'm borrowing a book about football. <laughs> hello, Pepper. <laughs> hello, Susie. I've got a book about nurses. <laughs> George has chosen a book about dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> Look what I found. Further adventures in the world of concrete. Here's a red monkey book. Not the red monkey book. It's boring. But this is a different story. It might be more fun. I bet it's not. Once upon a time, there was a red monkey. <gasps> He had a bath, cleaned his teeth and went to bed. No, he jumped in a space rocket and went to the moon. Mm. He had a picnic with a dinosaur, he swam under the sea and climbed the highest mountain. That was a busy day. The end. Wow! Read it again. We can borrow it and read it at home, Pepper. But I was going to choose this book or... This one. You can take three books home if you want, Peppa. Yippee! But you must remember to bring them back on time. Yes, Miss Rabbit. And you must remember to bring your book back too, Daddy Pig. <laughs> I'll make sure Daddy remembers. Yes, Peppa. I'm sure you will. Ho, <laughs> <laughs> ho! Princess Peppa. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. Good night, my little piggies. <coughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig have come for dinner. Hello. Hello. Where are Pepper and George? They're asleep. Oh, but I so wanted to see them. Can I take a peek? OK, Granny Pig, but be very quiet. <coughs> Granny Pig! <coughs> Hello, my little darlings. You should be asleep. Tell us a story. OK, but only if you promise to go straight back to sleep. We'll go to sleep after the story. All right. Once upon a time, there was... A little boy called Pedro Pony, and he found a magic bean. Oh, yes. Now... Pedro planted that bean and it grew into an enormous beanstalk that went high into the sky. That's right. Pedro climbed to the top of that beanstalk and found a... A horrible big giant. But I don't want that. I want a princess. Oh, yes. There he found a beautiful Princess Pepper <laughs> And Sir George, the brave knight. <laughs> and a cook who makes the most delicious food ever. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and Grandpa Pig are waiting to eat dinner. I'll go and see what's keeping Granny Pig. What's next in the story? Naughty Granny Pig, you woke the little ones. We promise to sleep when the story ends, Grandpa. I'm good at ending stories, Granny Pig. You go downstairs. I won't be long. There's a boy, a beanstalk, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, and a cook who makes a lovely dinner. Well, after they ate the lovely dinner, everyone fell asleep. The end. Then they all woke up, and along came a wizard. A wizard? Yes, a wizard. We're going to do a big magic show. Ah, uh, but... Then along came a scary dragon. <laughs> Granny Pig, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are still waiting to eat dinner. <laughs> that bedtime story doesn't seem to be working. I'm the expert at telling bedtime stories. I'll have them asleep in no time. Ah, a scary dragon! <laughs> Pepper, George, back to bed. But Grandpa hasn't finished the story yet, Daddy. I'll finish the story. I'll be down in a minute. 
<laughs> OK, there's a boy, a beanstalk, a castle, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, a cook, a wizard and a scary dragon. And a very hungry king. So they all had a big dinner and lived happily ever after. The end. Then they had a party. And all their friends came. <laughs> right, I think I'd better sort this out. <laughs> Daddy Pig. They're almost asleep. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take over now. You have to finish the story, Mummy. All right, quickly now. Tell me what's happened. Once upon a time, in olden days, a long time ago... Mummy Pig's been up there for a long time. I can hear snoring. At last, Pepper and George are asleep. And then they all lived happily ever after. The end. Pepper, George. Shush! Mummy is asleep. <laughs> it looks like Princess Pepper is the best at telling bedtime stories. That's right. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Paper aeroplanes. Daddy Pig is getting ready to go to work. Good. That's all the papers I need. Bye. Bye bye, Daddy. Mummy, can we make something? Yes. What would you like to make? Dinosaur. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur for everything. Let's make an aeroplane. <laughs> George likes aeroplanes. Can we make an aeroplane that flies? Yes. All we need is some paper. We know where there's paper. <laughs> there is lots of old paper in the workroom. Here's some paper. Perfect. Mummy Pig is going to make a paper aeroplane. Fold the paper down the middle. <laughs> now fold the corners in at one end. Fold those corners in again to make a point. Then fold the sides back like this. Paper aeroplanes! <laughs> Let's see if they can fly. Ready, steady, go! Mummy Pig's aeroplane has flown into a tree. My turn! Whee! Pepper's aeroplane has landed in a flower pot. Your turn, George. Whee! George's aeroplane is doing a loop the loop and has landed in the duck pond. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a big aeroplane. We'll need a really big piece of paper. <laughs> Here's a big piece of blue paper. <laughs> Pepper and George have made a big blue aeroplane. <laughs> Pig. Hello, everyone. Shouldn't you be at work? Yes, but I've forgotten some important papers. Daddy, we're making aeroplanes. <laughs> we made a really big one. Wow, fantastic. You need someone big and strong to throw it. Ready, steady, go! The big blue aeroplane is flying very high and very far. It just keeps on going. Bye-bye, aeroplane. Oh, oh, bye-bye. Now, I need to find my important work papers. Has anyone seen any pieces of paper? Um, uh, maybe you should follow me. Is this one of your important papers? Yes, that's one of them. Is this one of your important papers, Daddy? Yes. Thank you, Pepper. Uh, why are we at the duck pond? Oh, I see. Thank you, Mrs. Duck. The only paper I'm missing now is a big blueprint. Hmm. Is it big and blue? Like the aeroplane you flew a long way away, Daddy. Oh, um... The one that we said bye-bye to? Yes. Maybe I should ring the office. 
This is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, Daddy Pig. Did you find the papers? I found some of them. The only one we need is the big blueprint. Uh, that might be a problem. Daddy threw it away. Threw it away? And it flew and flew forever. Ah, it's here. It just landed on my desk. Eh? What a great idea to make it into a paper aeroplane and throw it to us. Oh, yes. Well, I am a bit of an expert at throwing things. Thank you, Daddy Pig. Now the blueprint is delivered, Daddy Pig can take the rest of the day off work. <sighs> That's nice. Daddy, we need your newspaper. What for? Making paper aeroplanes. <laughs> 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 the fire engine. Mummy Pig is dressed as a fireman. Mummy, why are you dressed like that? I'm going to the mummy's fire engine practice. Ooh. <laughs> It's just a good excuse for a cup of tea and a chat. Well, what are you doing today, Daddy Pig? I've got a very important meeting with the Daddy's football team. <laughs> That's just a lot of grown-up boys kicking a football around. <laughs> We're having a barbecue as well. Here are Mr Bull, Mr Rabbit, Mr Pony and Mr Zebra. Moo! Is Daddy Pig coming out to play? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, can we see the fire engine? Yes. Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> this is Miss Rabbit's fire station. Hello, Pepper and George. Come and see the fire engine. Wow! Fire engine! There's a ladder for climbing, a hose for squirting water and a big bell to ring. Ding dong! Ding dong! <laughs> now, let's go up the tower and look for fires. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pepper. Pepper. Hello, Hello, George. Ah, oh, who's for a nice cup of tea and a chat? That sounds nice. Ooh, a telephone. Peppa, that is the fire phone. It's only to be used when there's a fire. Ah! Fire! Fire! Fire station! Where's the fire? Where's the fire? Can I speak to Mummy Pig, please? Oh, it's Daddy Pig. <gasps> Daddy Pig! You're not supposed to ring on this phone. It's only for emergencies. This is an emergency. I can't find the tomato ketchup anywhere. Daddy Pig, shall I light the barbecue now? Yes, please, Mr Rabbit. Do be careful with the barbecue, Daddy Pig. Trust me, Mummy Pig. We daddies know all about barbecues. Bye. Maybe it needs more charcoal. Give it a bit of a blow. Put a few more fire lighters on. Now, we just have to wait for a fire. How long do we have to wait? Oh, it could be a long time. I've been waiting ages. How many fires have you actually put out, Miss Rabbit? Uh, none. Not one fire. But you've got to be ready. It's the fire phone. Oh, can you answer it, Peppa? It'll probably be your daddy again. OK. Hello, fire station. Hello, Peppa. Oh, daddy, it is you. You're very naughty. This phone is for fires only. Uh, can you put Miss Rabbit on, please? There's a good girl. Daddy wants to speak to you. Hello, Daddy Pig. This phone is only to be used when there's a... Fire! Fire! Oh, dear. Daddy Pig's barbecue is on fire. Fire! Fire! Mummy's to the rescue! Whee! Whee! Hold tight. Whee! 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 <laughs> It's Miss Rabbit's fire engine. Yay! Stand back, Daddies! Mummy Dog, turn on the water. Aye, aye, Mummy Pig. The fire 
is out. Hooray! Thank you for saving us, Miss Rabbit. No problem. It's all part of the service. The Mummy's Fire Engine Service. <laughs> and now that Miss Rabbit has kindly flooded our garden, we can all jump up and down in muddy puddles. Yes! <laughs> I love fire engines, especially when they make muddy puddles. <laughs> Today, Pepper and her family have come to the fun fair. <laughs> I love the fun fair. <laughs> slidey, slidey! George wants to go on the helter skelter. <laughs> okay, see you later. See you later. Roll up, roll up. Hook a duck and win a giant teddy. Mummy, can we have a go? Okay. One pound, please. One pound? It's all for a good cause. Win the giant teddy, Mummy! I'll try, Pepper, but I don't think it's that easy. You're right. You've got no chance. What? It's impossible. Waste of money, if you ask me. We'll see about that. Mummy Pig has won! Hooray! That's amazing. Here's your giant teddy. Wouldn't you like a little teddy instead, Pepper? No way, Jose! <laughs> Look, Mummy, a giant teddy. It's a bit big. No, it's not. George and Daddy Pig are queuing for the Helter Skelter. Hmm, it's a bit high, George. Are you sure you want to have a go? <laughs> <laughs> One pound, please. One pound? It's all for a good cause. <laughs> 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 oh dear, it is a bit too high for George Don't worry, George, I'll come up with you That's one pound, please Oh <laughs> George isn't afraid of heights anymore Oh, it is a bit high, isn't it? I'll just go down the stairs The stairs are full of children that's the way down, Daddy Pig. Oh, OK. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> roll up, roll up, hit the target and win a giant teddy. You can do that easy, Mummy. We don't want to win another giant teddy, Pepper. Don't worry, you won't win. Women are useless at this. I'm sorry, what did you say? It's a game of skill. How much for one go? One pound. <laughs> Mummy Pig has won. Unbelievable. Here's your giant teddy. Hooray! I want a teddy like that one, Mummy. They're too big. No, they're not. Daddy Pig and George are riding on the big wheel. Hold tight now. Oh! That really is high. <laughs> Phew! I'm glad that's over. Five times round for one pound. Five times round? Oh, no. Whoa! whoa, whoa. Roll up, roll up! Test your strength on the old hammer and bell. What do we have to do? You hit this button with this hammer. If the bell rings, you win a prize! No skill involved, but you need to be strong. I'll have a go. One pound! Bad luck! Ho, oh, oh, ho! I'm strong. I'll have a go. Stand back, everyone. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. You're not that fit. Oh, oh, yes, Daddy Pig is looking a bit tubby. What? I'm just saying Daddy Pig is a bit round in the tummy. Give me that hammer. Goodness me. I've never seen anything like it. That wins all the giant teddies we have. Hooray! Mummy, can we give these teddies to my friends? What a good idea! <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Peppa. Peppa! Most kind. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Santa's visit. It is very early on Christmas morning. Pepper and her family are staying at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. George, wake up! <laughs> Santa's been. <laughs> Bubble mix. <laughs> Comics and tangerines. <laughs> Hey, what? It's too early, Pepper. Go and say Happy Christmas to Granny and Grandpa. <laughs> Granny, Grandpa! Ah! Don't panic! All hands on deck! It's Christmas! It's three o'clock in the morning. But Santa's been. Can we see if he's still here? No, Santa's not here. Look, the carrot, drink and mince pie have gone. He's only left crumbs. Yes, Santa likes a good mince pie. And there are big presents under the tree. <sniffs> I asked Santa for a doll. Can we open them now? We will open the big presents after Christmas lunch. Oh, goody. Pepper and her family are having Christmas lunch. Let's pull the crackers. And party trumpets. <laughs> and jokes. What wobbles in the sky? I don't know. A jellycopter. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this Christmas pudding is delicious. Pepper and George helped me make it. We did the stirring. Did you make a wish, Pepper? Yes. I wished for. Don't tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's open the presents. Yippee! This one is for George. <laughs> it is a racing car set. <laughs> this looks a bit complicated. Let me see. This goes here, and that goes there, and this goes there. Let's race! Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Daddy and Grandpa are enjoying playing racing cars. Isn't that George's present? <laughs> I think George is quite happy playing with the box. <laughs> this is your present, Daddy Pig. Ah, socks. And I've got socks. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, the last present must be for... Me! I asked Santa for a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Oh, Birdseed. Birdseed. That present is for Polly Parrot. But it was the last one. Santa has forgotten me. Hello? <laughs> Can I talk to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. Did you get your doll? No. I got mine. It cries and laughs and closes its eyes and everything. Santa's giving you my doll. No, the label says for Susie Sheep. <laughs> then Santa has forgotten me. Ho, ho, ho! Santa is on his way home. That's the last of this year's toys delivered. Oh, what's this at the bottom of my sack? Santa can't have forgotten you. I have been a good piggy, haven't I? Ho, ho, ho! Santa! Uh, hello. He came down our Chimney. Of course he did, Granny. Here's your present, Peppa. Sorry it's a bit late. <laughs> My doll! Thank you, Santa. Would you like some Christmas pudding? George and I stirred it and made wishes. Mmm, yummy. And I wish that Santa would visit us on Christmas Day. And you did. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs>